Ever since I was young, I always loved red meat, especially steak. Like nothing for me beat a good steak, uh, like as far as I can remember. And um, it's been about four years of me eating nothing but red meat. I mean, you know, occasionally I would go on vacation and eat whatever, but generally speaking, I'll have one ribeye in the morning and one ribeye in the evening. And that's it, that's my whole diet. It's extremely boring. And you would think someone who grew up like obsessed with steak would love this diet, but it's, it's really difficult. It, it gets boring and eventually you go from living to eat to eating to live. And of course there are exceptions, like I would go on vacation and stuff like that and eat whatever. But it's, I mean, the reality is I just feel my absolute best when I only eat fatty meat. Like when I eat high fat ribeye um, with butter on it, you know, the occasional bit of dairy, that's pretty much it. And I've been doing this for four years. It's crazy to me that like, this diet and just eating in general is is so politicized for no reason like it's almost like i'm eating red meat to get back at environmentalists and i i don't give a shit about climate change and i i hate democrats uh and i love conservatives and and none of that really makes sense to me i mean at the end of the day this is i've tried everything i've tried every diet i've tried i've tried to be vegan even and i just didn't feel well I'll never forget when I was living in New York City, I tried vegan diet for about six months and I really gave it my best shot. I was having, you know, every vegetable you think of, Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, broccoli, and I would saute it in like coconut oil. Um, but no matter what I did, I just felt constantly bloated and I had to use the bathroom like several times a day and my energy was low and I just, you know, people would say, oh, you're just detoxing. Um, but something felt off to me. And I really did give it like a, a good six months, maybe even longer. And eventually I decided, you know, after hearing a lot of people talk about how their autoimmune conditions kind of improved when they ate nothing but meat. So I gave that a shot and, you know, here I am um, four years later. So obviously I'd only be doing this if it worked. And it works. <clears throat> it is so dead simple. To eat this way, you don't have to think about what to cook or what to eat. And the best part is that you're very rarely hungry. So I can get by on literally one meal a day. Um, maybe if I have a fatty snack afterwards, that'll hold me over. Or, you know, more, more commonly, I'll eat twice a day. But there is absolutely no chance I can eat lunch anymore if I have breakfast. And, um, or I'll have just lunch and late dinner but I'm, I'm always satiated. I never feel hunger, really. And when I've tried to do like extended fasting, I felt like I could go on forever. Like it really feels like when you become fat adapted, um, it's just a consistent, stable fuel source for your body and it works really well. The other positive is because I'm eating this way and I'm strict, it gives me very, very few options in terms of like snacks. So our pantry is basically empty. It only has spices and it has meat. Um, and I buy meat like once a week and it'll last me the whole week. Um, occasionally I'll have eggs, but for the most part, I mean, it really cuts out all the processed food, all the little snacks that I used to I used to be crazy about snacks. I used to have a big ass box of Oreos at the office, like by my desk. And now I have just, I have no cravings for any of that. And it took a while, I would say it took maybe six weeks before my cravings started to subside. And those first six weeks were very difficult. But once I got over the hump, like I, I really didn't, I didn't care for any processed foods. I didn't care for bread. I didn't care for rice. I only care for those things and crave those things when I'm eating them over time. Like even when I break my diet, for example, and I have a weekend out where I have some sushi, I don't feel like, whoa, I, I, I really miss this. Um, 
it's like fine. And then <clears throat> if I eat that way for a while though, I'll start to crave it and I'll need it. But as soon as I go back to eating this way for a few weeks, just everything disappears. So it's crazy. It's almost like your microbiome adapts to the food you're eating. I mean, that is the case. Another obvious pro is that my antibodies are going down. I have Hashimoto's disease. A lot of people know this. Um, and uh, ever since I started this, I felt better overall. But more recently, I've, uh, my antibodies have actually come down. And the original number on my lab test was over 900 because they stopped counting after 900. The normal reference range is anything less than nine. That's a normal healthy person would have, uh, they call it thyroglobulin. TPO, thyro, no. <clears throat> thyroid peroxidase antibodies. So my th thyroid TPO antibodies, thyroid peroxidase antibodies were over 900 for like 10, 15 years. Uh, just straight, every time I tested it, it was sky high. And over the last six months, they've been coming down. And the last blood test I did, which was about, I wanna say three weeks ago, my antibodies were like in the high 300s. So that is a huge, huge, for me, it's a huge milestone. And I think in the next few months, I'll be able to get it down to normal. Um, whether that means I can come off my thyroid medication or not is another story, but honestly, like, I'm just really happy with this progress. The other thing is, ever since I did this diet, my allergies completely disappeared. Like I had, I had the worst, and people that you know were close to me knew this, I wouldn't even go outside because of how bad my allergies were, especially like in the springtime. Um, <clears throat> my eyes would be constantly itchy, uh, they would be inflamed, I would have conjunctivitis, which means my eyelids were swollen, um, my congestion was extremely bad. So when I, like literally five weeks into the carnivore diet, all of it disappeared completely. I've, and I was, and if you guys know what I've been through and what I've tried to get my allergies under control, I've tried every single medication, Zyrtec, uh, Fexafenidine, which is Allegra. I've tried um, over-the-counter and prescription like Singular. I've taken mega doses of all that stuff. I've even infected myself with uh, Nicator Americanus hookworms, which is like a human hookworm. Um, and nothing really worked until I ate this way. And I mean, I mean, for me, like the first question is why? Why is this working so well? So when you begin to connect the dots, it really makes sense. Like this is what humans kind of evolved eating. And that's why I eat this way. I don't eat this way because it's fun or because I love steak, although I do. I eat it because I've never felt better in my entire life. I think the craziest thing to me when going on this diet is it helped me reestablish a new normal. It's crazy how much we accept as normal that has no business being normal. Like amount of bloating I had, and I thought it was like normal levels of bloating. You know, I thought that having some stomach pain after eating a big meal was normal. Now, even if I wanted to, there's no way, like I'm full, but it's not like, it's not like a feeling of like, Oh, I'm so full, I can't breathe and it, and it hurts and like I can barely sit properly and I have to unbutton, like it's none of that. I feel this sense of satiation well before I feel any sense of physical fullness. Um, and it's really hard to describe, but like once you get there, it's like, whoa, how, I've, how have I been eating my entire life? Like this feels so different. It's like my body gets what it needs and then it tells me to stop and I can't eat anymore, but I don't physically feel like heavy. Like, if I was outside and I was a hunter-gatherer and I ate a bunch of fat and meat, I could run a marathon right after. Like, I would have no problem. And that's something that I never really thought was possible. So it's amazing how much pain and, and inconvenience and just general feelings of unease that we determine is normal for us. And it's not normal at all. Am I going to be eating this way for the rest of my life? Uh, Probably, but I hope I can reintroduce some foods here and there, at least, you know, for the sake of variety here and there without affecting my antibodies. So we'll see how that goes.